In this video, I'll show you how to mod performance for F1 2016. So the first thing you need to do is download these two programs, Note++ and Ego ERP Archiver. I'll leave the links to these below. So you want to navigate to this address, open one of the team's ERPs, navigate to XML files, and then export the performance file. I'm just going to save it to the desktop for now. You'll see it there. So I'm going to double click it to open it, and I'll open it with Notepad++. And you'll get something that looks a bit like this. Don't be off-put by all the code, it's really quite simple. So when you're going to do it manually, you're going to want to go to the bottom where it's got all the upgrades. And how upgrades work is that there's like a variable, so maybe it might be downforce, or maybe it's going to be the fuel, which we're going to use for this example. And then you've got an operation, so asterisk means multiply, add, subtract, so they're quite straightforward, and then a forward slash means divide and you've also got a value here so what this means is that in the original fuel burn we're gonna multiply it by this value at the bottom so I'm gonna quickly open up another notepad file to make sure I remember this like that so now I'm gonna find the original fuel burn in the uh, kind of the top part of the performance file that actually affects the car because this stuff doesn't really affect the car unless you're playing career mode and you've got the upgrade and there we go you know it's the proper one because it's near the top of the file and to do this I'm gonna get the calculator app open I think this is the quickest way to do it manually I'm not too sure I don't really do it manually I use not created equal which I'll show you later on in the video so we're gonna type in the original which is 0.8467853939. Multiply it because the operation in the upgrade file was an asterisk by the value in the upgrade section, which I've got on the left hand side in that notepad file. And that gives you your new value to paste into there. So once you've done that, Control S to save. Don't want to save that one. But Control S to save Notepad++. And then go back to the ERP, like this. And XML files, import, and then select the file we saved earlier. And then file save, and overwrite Ferrari.erp. And there you go, that's how you do it manually. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, you won't get it right first time, there's a lot of trial and error involved and I wouldn't really recommend it. So this is how I do it, I use not created equal and you can also use my like AI tweaks mod which simply makes the lower lower tier cars better against the higher tier ones though that's optional you don't really need to use it, I use it though probably just because I made it to be honest and when you're using not created equal and you've got livery mods or skin mods you're going to want to copy their ERPs into the not created equal folder like this and do this for all the teams I won't do it for all of them just to save time all right there we go so I've copy and pasted all of them and then we're going to load up the .exe and here's the program so what I'm going to do for this example is make all the uh, teams bad except for mana and I put mana like the highest that you can get them so right click to lower the stars by like a half a star and pretty self-explanatory the higher the star rating the faster the car like this and then make mana left click to increase it and then once you're happy with your star ratings you want to go and click X import import for first and then let the command line run it might take quite a while and once you've imported, you're going to click export on the right. Again, command line's going to run, might take quite a while. Okay, and we're done, it's done it all for you. So now we're going to load up Steam, and hopefully the mana is a mile ahead. And as we can see here, I've just done a one shot qualifying, and the mana's about three seconds ahead of the field. A small thing that I don't really like the not created equal to mod is that when a team has the same star rating, they're not exactly equal. It's only a small thing, just do some trial and error and you'll get it fixed. And that's all, so I hope this helped you, and good luck modding.